What's up, nerds? Phoenix from Phoenix TV here with Season 3 of Let's Play Minecraft. I know the last one was short. I'll explain that in a minute because I need to show you the Phoenix Craft Season 2 server. It's pretty amazing. So I found this seed that was really cool, and I, we decided we were going to do the new server. Because, you know, we have to reset every now and then. Anyway, the main point here is that you may be wondering how I'm going to do a Season 3 if I've already got, you know, a base. And to that I say, this is not going to be my recording piece. Because you see, the reason that I didn't do much in Season 2 is because I didn't want, I actually want to just play the game, and it's kind of hard to play the game and record the game all the time, because those, those just never sync up. So this is going to be my, like, free time base, whenever I don't have time to record but I still want to play. And it's pretty freaking awesome. And it's got a bunch of my storage stuff, so. I'll at least have some ingredients where I'm going to do. But what I actually plan to do for this series is uh, down here. You see. Whenever I was trying to decide what I want to do for this season, it was either going to be a jungle base, like a tree base like the one you saw, or a nether base. And I figured since I already have a tree base, might as well go nether base. So. Where I plan, I've done some scouting, where I plan to make my base is, uh, it's down here, where I almost fell to my death. Uh, right there. That's where I want to set up my base. So, I'm going to create a path down there, collect some blocks, put away some really nice stuff, and we'll go from there. As I'm sure many of you are familiar with, uh, I have to, I have to record on really, re really reduced time. And so accordingly, I have to occasionally build things in the creative version of this world, because I'm the guy who admined it, so, you know, I can use the whatever. Anyway, uh, I went in here to go see what the coordinates are, and I figured while I'm here, I'll go ahead and give you a little preview of what I have in store. Uh, you're welcome to speculate, but most importantly, I know now where to start this thing, that way it looks okay. So, let's get back to the actual thing. Okay, and before I get started trying to you know, sort out this area, because it's kind of a kind of a dangerous place to try and work, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my super smelter somewhere, probably in this tunnel. You know, just a good place to get everything cooking as I need it. See if I remember how to make this thing, because Big Tony's been one of the key factors, and that's been the key factor in getting it the other two times. There we go. There's a little super smelter, so I can put things in at the top, put the the fuel in the sides, it'll go through both, and you go down here. Nice, quick, easy. And with that, I'm going to continue with this thing, because it will be hefty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Alright, so if my ability to remember and reread my own coordinates is correct, this should be the first block. Now... I'm going to make a circle of this. I only have 12 slabs at the moment, so I know that's not enough, but I do kind of have to at least get the center point down of this one side so I can figure out where to go from there. So, I'm going to use these remaining 11 slabs, go back above, get something to fuel the furnaces, and then I'll start cooking with them. So, should be fun. In an attempt to try and get as much done as I can, because again, short time, I went ahead and waited on the stuff to cook so I could go ahead and do a fourth a quarter of the circle, so you can kind of get an idea of how big it's supposed to be. Uh, I guess for this thing it looks kind of small. Maybe we're not to the end here. But yeah, I think it's uh, yeah, it's 35 blocks in diameter, which isn't huge, I admit, but if memory serves, it gets me pretty close to over there, and it kind of it fills in this area, and I like that. I thought it looked pretty cool in my testing design, so that's what I'm going to run with. And... I imagine I'll spend the rest of this episode trying to collect as many extra pieces as I can because there's a lot of other materials that are going to go into this too that I'm just not going to have time. I'm not going to have time to wait on all this and then go get them and do all that too. So hopefully this will be sufficient enough. Don't kill me. I'm going to go out and remember where to find a desert. Because while this base is cool, because you spawn on one side, you get this massive maze of biome where Big Tony is. I'm not sure what he's doing or what he plans to do, so I won't spoil his house. And a village on the other side and a jungle on the other. 
on top of, we set it up with this really cool thing where it's, uh, supposed to be lava oceans, but because this was a swamp, it, like, forced some water, so it created this really cool design. Putting some weird lava physics. You know, I figured it'd be a cool place to set us up at, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go find some desert, go find some sand, some sandstone, some sand, some good times, hopefully. Well, since netherrack takes forever and I got quite a bit of sandstone, maybe, just maybe, I can do the inside. Then do the lining after the fact. Be a bit strange, but if it works, it works. I certainly won't complain. So if I follow that, that needs to be one, two, three. Right? Yeah. I'm going to mess this up with something awful. It'll be hilarious. One, two, three, four. Over one and three. One, two, three. And then another three. And yeah, I'm going to keep doing this and hopefully I don't screw this up royally. Probably will. But it'll be funny when I do, so that's the important thing. And unsurprisingly, trying to do this the hard way, the easy way, definitely the hard way. Already proving difficult. Already screwed it up once. So, let me refocus and try and not screw it up this time. Alright, so that's the interior circle. After losing probably about half a stack worth of this stuff, I have the sandstone inner ring, and now I'm gonna have to wrap up for the day. Apologies that I can't do more at the time. I'm at work full time, I have a lot of stuff I'd like to do. So, I have to keep these episodes recorded shorter and then I'll edit it down to where they aren't an hour of me flailing around not saying anything. So, it's been Phoenix from Phoenix TV. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to let me know in the comments below and with your like and support and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.